Praise God. You all did such a wonderful job. Hallelujah. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So good to see everybody, to hug everybody. Oh, my goodness. We've missed you guys so, so much. Texting just does not cut it. Hallelujah. <laughs> so thankful to be back. So thankful to hug. I know we're not supposed to, and God forgive me. That was the first thing I said this morning. God forgive me, but I can't help myself. To feel Holy Spirit inside of each and every one of you just, oh, I feel a hundred times better than I did. I love you so much. And I know from talking to so many of you, and I should say texting, yeah, forgive me, my makeup's everywhere, so that's just the way it goes. <laughs> We've been through a lot, <clears throat> but I know for so many, we're grateful. We're grateful to have gone through it. We're grateful, more grateful today for Lord Jesus Christ than ever before. Amen. Amen. <laughs> have a new appreciation for what our Lord went through. And I wouldn't wish it, this on anybody, but I'm so thankful, so grateful to have a new appreciation for life, for Jesus, for Holy Spirit, for my beloved. And I know you all feel the same way. I know you all do. And even though we have not talked about the things that we've been through, all we have to do is look at each other and we know. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord, and we have the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. Praise God. Oh, nothing like it. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for raising up pastors. Hallelujah. Pastors. Hallelujah. That our elders spoke out. We will not close this church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No matter what the enemy tried to do, look what happened. Thank you all for just letting Holy Spirit flow through you guys, for stepping up. Thank you all for being family, for being one. Hallelujah. So many testimonies of what our brothers and sisters did for other brothers and sisters and, you know, servants of God, worshipers. Hallelujah. Warriors in the kingdom of heaven. And praise God, this is just the beginning, family. Just the beginning. Hallelujah. The pastor asked me to pray and, and open us up in prayer, but my beloved has to pray. Hallelujah. Dear Father God, we just come to you this morning with such humble, grateful, thankful hearts. Yes. Yes, we thank you for all of your many blessings, but most especially for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you did on that cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we are healed, that we are free, Hallelujah. that we are victorious because of what you did, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the strength that you've been filling us up with over these last few weeks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. I just can't thank you enough. And I just pray, Father God, that you will change our hearts. Yes, yes. Use this. Yes. Use this trial, Father God, to help us grow your kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help us to be your hands and feet. Lead us, guide us, direct us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That, Father God, not one soul will be left behind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to claim it, declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. And I just pray a special blessing over this service, over our pastor, Father God. Just light a fire within him. And Holy Spirit, just do a mighty work through him this morning. We just love you. We thank you. We praise you. We ask these things in your mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, I didn't know that I'd be standing here. Please keep our pastors in prayer as well, Pastor John and Pastor Mary, and of course our entire church body. But uh, we've already declared it. It's a new season in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a new season. Hallelujah. Sometimes new don't feel good. Nobody really preaches on that anymore. Sometimes new, Sister Jackie, is uncomfortable. Sometimes new is unfamiliar. I have so much to say, as you guys already know. Um, and in preparation of our worship service, Holy Spirit said, I, Son, I just want you to put everything down, what I tell you to do, and get right into it. Because when you start speaking, your emotions are going to start taking over. And emotions, if you allow it, speak louder than Holy Spirit. Come on now, some of y'all need to hear this. Some of y'all are on fire. Some of y'all are on fire. But is it far? Or, it, or hallelujah? Come on, praise Jesus. Right? Is it, is it far? Is it Holy Spirit far? Hallelujah? Come on, sis. Or is it fire? Uh, I'm on fire. Or is it far? See, far come from the great I am. Amen? And so when you're on far, Holy Spirit, God himself, keeps the emotions in check. Amen? And I love this because of the fact that here we are opening in this worship service. We're going to be cold breakers this morning. Amen? And let's just get right into it. Are you guys ready? Say amen. amen. Glory to God. I, I had, now God said I could say this. Elder Charlie, thank you. Elder Charles, thank you. Amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. And we'll save time if you just remain standing. And I want to say thank you to all the deacons and leadership. Let's just give God praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. And of course, it gets gooder and gooder because we thanked the pastors. We thanked elders, deacons, leadership. Let's thank our entire church body. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I said it gets gooder and gooder because, say it with me. This is, this is Holy Spirit's Holy Spirit. church. church. In Jesus' name, Jesus name, amen. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know anywhere else where the enemy will try to take both pastors out and for the church to not only grow, but Holy Spirit's presence and anointing it's just on far. Amen. That's only God. Hallelujah. Say it with me, but God. Oh, I like big butts. Amen. Come on now. Don't act like you don't know me. I do. I like big butts, and there ain't no bigger butt than when you say, but God. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all may be seated. Praise God. We got two and a half hours to go through. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Sister Ashley's like squeezing your knee right now, brother. Praise Jesus. Breaking the code and unlocking breakthrough. Amen. If you're saved and you know it. If you're saved and you know it, clap your hands. If you're saved and you know it, then your face should surely show it. If you're saved and you know it, clap your hands. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all happy to be in a... Are you happy to be saved? Hallelujah. Are you saved? Are you saved? Hallelujah. Glory to God. That there ain't no addiction, no disease, nothing that can come against you in Jesus' name. All because of Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Say it with me. All the glory belongs to Lord Jesus. Amen. 
Oh, hallelujah. All right, we really need to get into this. Praise God. Hallelujah. You all are such a blessing. Hallelujah. Isn't this amazing, Bruce, Rosalind? Isn't this amazing? Glory to God. Hallelujah, Sister Amanda, right? Praise God. God is, amen. We love to say God is good. All the time. And it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. His goodness in you and through you will, 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 will go beyond anything. However, what Father needs from us is say this word with me, mercy. You see, from the beginning of time, everybody tried to figure out who God is. From the beginning of time, ever since sin entered this world, sin entered this world, right? Sin entered this world, right? When sin entered this world, all of a sudden, in sin, there's confusion. The devil is confusion, right? The devil likes to stir up confusion to create fear, right? The devil is the author of fear, anxiety, depression. Re listen, family, if you're going through that right now, say it with me, no more. no more. Hallelujah. That's the devil. That's his voice. That is his presence in your life. Which means if you're doing things that you know, I should not be doing this. Or I had family that died from this. Or I don't know why I am doing this because this is not me. That's the devil. And only through Christ do you have the authority to say, no more. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? He is the author of deception and lies. That's the devil. You are not a victim of the devil. Amen? You are not. If you sit here in God's beloved church this morning and you feel that, I pray in Jesus' name that you, you just let go. Say it with me, let go. How do we let go? For one... You could just let go right now in your heart. To some of you, it's as easy as deleting something off your computer. That is causing all the depression, anxiety, confusion. To some of you, it's deleting an app on your phone. Well, pastor, you just don't know how many friends I got. I don't care. He's the only friend you need to worry about. Can I get a hallelujah? He's the only friend. He's the only friend. I ain't here to make friends. I'm here to make brothers and sisters. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We're brothers and sisters. And we're eternal brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. We got, listen, heaven is growing. Our loved ones taking their next breath in heaven. Hallelujah. I, I still pray, Father, bless, bless me with the with the biggest mansion. How many of you are that intimate with the Lord? Amen. I know I have been these past few weeks. Amen. Bless me with the swimming pool. I don't even know if they have swimming pools in heaven. But that's just me. Amen. Trish is already believing for all the creatures in heaven. Amen. Right? And I know she's going to be in competition with Sister Rosalind. I already know right now because you can already see the anointing. I saw agape just boom. Uh, agape just, hey, here's some of mine, you know, but say it with me, God is mercy. God is mercy. When we know that we serve a merciful father, let me explain real quick, because I told you that God just wanted me to type out what I wanted to say to you, and we're going we're gonna to pull everything together in what Holy Spirit's anointing wants. But when we talk about God is mercy, we have to understand the fact first that when God created us, he, cre he created us for this purpose of relationship, of worship, right? Brother William brought that word Wednesday night. It's all Holy Spirit, amen. Holy Spirit used him as a mouthpiece just like I'm standing here before you. You can look at me and judge me by the way I look, by the way I act. I can annoy you. Guess what? I'm annoying. Take that, devil, right? Take that, devil. I'm annoying. So what? I'm annoying for the Lord. Amen. So guess what? If you're head over heels in love with Jesus, I won't be annoying to you. But if you're going to be focused on me, guess what? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Right? I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I, here, God told me to say this. I'm sorry that I'm annoying you. I'm sorry that I'm hurting your feelings. God's telling me to say it, so I have to be obedient. 
See, there's many of you that are worshiping in the anointing of the Holy Spirit saying, speak the truth, pastor. I don't care what you look like. I don't care how annoying you say you are. I love Jesus just like you. Holy Spirit, amen. Holy Spirit will teach me. Hallelujah. Say it with me, mercy. When you have mercy in you, you have God in you. When you're merciful, pastor, explain. God created this world for worship, for relationship. God made everything perfect. And let's give God praise because our pastors are sitting back there. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Give God praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Glory to God. So Holy Spirit just said we're going to go through this. Because Holy Spirit said that pastor is going to speak a word in closing. Amen. Amen. And um, he's always prepared and ready. Hallelujah. So when we notice that God created his children, Adam and Eve, all he wanted was worship, a relationship, as a loving, merciful father. But then sin entered. We're not going to get into that. That's all that needs to be said. Amen. We're not going to get into that. When his children hid, when Adam and Eve hid after they sinned, God, say with me, looked for them. Did God come down and say, what did you do? Bad. How dare you? You sinned. God pursued them. Because he is mercy. Amen. Now when we know that God is mercy. It doesn't just stop there. Because of our embarrassment. Our shame. Our regret. Right. Because of all the things that the devil was heaping. On Adam and Eve. This is us now. Well brother I wasn't there. Guess what. We're here on this earth. Right. We're here on this fallen world. We're born into that. But guess what? This mercy that God displayed was he took one of his creation and slaughtered it. He took one of his creation and he slaughtered it. Could you imagine this animal was, wasn't designed for that? But he slaughtered it and he took the skin off of that sacrifice and he covered Adam and Eve. Just so that they can still be in the presence of God. Say it with me, mercy. mercy. Amen. So when we know God is mercy, what did we do to God? We hurt God. And God was wounded. Amen. So of course, after this part, I know we went all the way back to Genesis. You're like, how much further can you go, Brother Joy? Just right there, calm down. But now we look into the fact that, okay, life had to move on, right? Because of God's mercy, he didn't just end it. He said, let's move on. You know what you did wrong? I covered you. I covered you in this. Can you imagine how beautiful that animal was? And he had to kill it. Did God love that animal? Right? Could you imagine what Adam and Eve saw, the cost of their sin? Can you imagine what Adam and Eve saw when they were hiding Maybe they were hiding behind a bush. We hide behind the cross, right? But maybe they're like this. Can you picture it? Maybe they're like this and they don't want to be in front of God, but they're like looking. And they, 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 they hear a scream that they never heard from God's creature. And they look and they're like, what is God doing? And you could just imagine how gruesome it looked. But they saw. They got to see. Say it with me. They saw. They saw the cost of their sin. Let's move on. Say it with me. God is, I am. For so long, before Christ Jesus, God just wanted to be a father, the loving, perfect father that he is, to anyone who would receive him. Amen. Do you receive Lord Jesus Christ today? Amen. Show of hands. Hallelujah. Show of hands. Don't. 
It's moments like this where I just believe and declare through the Holy Spirit's anointing that he's just flooding the place. Amen. And as we say, Lord Jesus, you are mine, praise God that here we are now, the chosen generation, right, Brother Ryan? The chosen generation, we know that we are beloved children of God. But before Lord Jesus Christ, God's Spirit would move on obedient children that worshipped him. Amen? And all God wanted was to have this relationship with a son and a daughter. But see, there was something missing from that. No matter how good the prophet was, no matter how obedient that person is, there was still sin in the blood. Can I get an amen? amen? There was still sin in their blood. But by the grace of God, we all know it, it's above our baptistry, the great I am came. Say it with me, I am. Those are powerful words, amen? You know, through this entire battle that we've been through, and I know many of us have, amen? Pastor, I'll tell you right now, I never said I am negative. I never said that. I never said I am and put a negative word there. I never said that. You know why? I don't blaspheme. Say it with me. I don't blaspheme. Pastor, explain. God says he is the great I am. If you have the audacity right now as you sit in his holy presence that you like to say, Lord, release me to say thank you, Father. If you sit here in his presence claiming to be a blood-bought child of God, claiming to be sealed by the great I am, Holy Spirit living in you, but yet you speak, oh, I am stupid, oh, I am fat, oh, I am tired, oh, I am sick or I am confused, or I am depressed. You are blaspheming against the name of the living God, and God is saying right now, stop. Amen, stop. Stop. Say it with me, stop. Hallelujah. Last time I checked, stop means stop. Say it with me, no. Hallelujah. We have to. See, this goes beyond religion. This is why Christ came. To abolish religion, and it's now a relationship. It's intimacy between you, Bruce, and God Almighty. Has nothing to do with Pastor Joey. But when we're raptured out of here, I will have to answer. I will have to answer more sternly as a pastor for everything spoken and how I live my life. It's not just what I speak to you here at this pulpit. But it's how I live my life. Meaning there's things I will be judged and held accountable for that you don't see. How I think, how I conduct myself, how I act, how I am on my phone, how I am on the computer, how I am, hallelujah, at Walmart, how I am at Kroger, how I am at the job, wherever you are, amen. How I am, how I treat my wife, how I treat my children, amen. God sees it all, hallelujah. Say his, say his name, I am. So when we know that God is I am, oh, praise God, we're getting somewhere now. Amen? But what did we do with the great I am? Do you remember? Do you remember that creation that God himself had to sacrifice to cover Adam and Eve? So that they can no longer hide but be in the presence of God? Do you remember? It was just two minutes ago, right? Look at what happened now. Here he is, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Have mercy on our souls. Amen? Here he is, the perfect blood of God, the only one that can usher in the new covenant that we're going to get into, the great I am. God did this so that we can see the cost of our sins. So that we will no longer be in sin. Amen. There's no need for you to be in guilt anymore. There's no need for you to be in shame. Guess what? When you sin, that's the first thing that the devil wants to do. You call yourself a Christian. Look at what you did. Whatever it is. Maybe you, maybe you made a promise to God that you're going to stop smoking. And you're still smoking right now. I'm not picking on you right now. That's between you and the Lord. Guess what? I don't care. I don't look at it. I'm too busy worshiping. 
Amen. I don't care what you're doing. I really don't. I really, that's between you and God Almighty. Can I get a hallelujah? I cannot judge you because he's the only judge. But hear the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. Maybe between you and God, you made a promise and you slipped up. I'm going to tell you right now because God, agape, wants to expose it. The first thing the devil's going to say is, you call yourself a Christian. Look at what you did. God give you this to speak and say, I rebuke you, Satan. Say it with me. I rebuke you, Satan. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Some people ask me, well, pastor, does it go away? Does Sometimes, no. Can I confess to you? Sometimes that addiction or that thing gets stronger. Why? It's trying to pull you from worship because the devil is the one that's afraid of you. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Say it with me, the devil yeah. is under my feet in Jesus name hallelujah so check this out we chastise beat and bruise God even though he was is and will always be our only hope Lord Jesus Christ is the perfect one the Messiah he came to save us and this is what we did now if there's any one of you in here that say well I wouldn't do that and all that stuff please don't wait for the song to play you need to be at this altar because pride has got a hold on you I'm going to tell you right now, every one of us, every one of us, I don't, care, I don't care how big your church is, I don't care how long you've been preaching, I don't care what position you hold, every one of us falls short of the glory of God. Amen. Every one of us. Hallelujah. Every one of us. And the quicker, say it with me, quicker. The quicker we are to repent, meaning, oh, this is the glory of God. Hallelujah. Get ready now. This is far right now. Holy Spirit said this. Get ready. You ready? Yeah. Whatever you do that causes you to fall, whether it's on purpose or by accident, if you are quick to repent, the anointing of Holy Spirit, His fire will sanctify you upon sanctification and His presence will reign in your life like never before in Jesus' name. All God is asking is repent. Say it with me, repent. repent. See, this is personal. Say it with me, personal. This is between you and God Almighty. You could sit, you could sit in vomit, right? You could sit in the sin and the filth. I, I could choose to sit in the sickness. But I know that sickness is not from my God. Everything good and perfect is from God. So guess what? I don't allow that to stay in me and in my house. It doesn't matter how I feel. I'm going to keep pleading the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and saying, Holy Spirit, kill this thing. Say it with me, don't be quiet. May I tell you, Elder Charlie, when I was living for the world, you could hear me coming from two miles away. Why in the world, now that I serve Lord Jesus Christ, you should hear me ten miles away? Hallelujah. Say with me, grace. grace. Hallelujah. This is our new covenant, beloved. Hallelujah. The grace of God Almighty. Say with me, my new covenant. Hallelujah. Check this out. You see what took place? Holy Spirit's anointing. Don't you love that? God is a spirit. Holy Spirit opened up with that. Amen. John 4, 24. God is a spirit. And those who worship must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John 14, 6 says, hallelujah. I am the way, the and life. Those who go to the Father must come through. Amen. The truth is Jesus Christ is the only way. Only way. Amen. When God says only is there any other option? No. Amen. You ever go Baskin Robin? 32 options, but you ever go Baskin Robin? They only got vanilla? Can I get some chocolate? Only vanilla, right? 
Say it with me, only Jesus. Hallelujah, there ain't no other way. Hallelujah. He's the only way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. And let's say this together. And all because of him, we are saved. Hallelujah. And being saved, look at this. I had to put Holy Spirit in every child, all this illustration that you see on the screen. But because of Lord Jesus Christ, the great I am doesn't have to send his spirit over those that just want to listen here and there. Because of Lord Jesus Christ, now his spirit lives on the inside. Amen. And Holy Spirit lives. I love this picture. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. See, God is so sweet. When I put this picture, Holy Spirit said, I want, I want my church. I want my holy church. I want my beloved children to see because of my anointing. A child, a child is born into my mercy and grace. A beloved child. Where are all the babies right now? Amen. We got the, we got the Burns Bunch back there. We got some kids, right? Um, I'm not pointing at teenagers because teenagers are old enough. Amen. But we got little ones, right? And guess what? They're sealed, protected. Amen. But then you do come to the age of accountability. Right? You do come to that age where you get old enough and you know, you know, I need to receive Jesus. Right? How many of you are drug babies? Right? How many of you are drug babies? You've been drugged to church all your life? <laughs> Show of hands. How many of you? <laughs> Elder Charles knew, right? Right? So see, so you've been, <laughs> right? So you've been drugged to church all your life, right? But then it gets to the point, right, beloved sis, that I need to make this decision for myself. Glory to God, right? And that's what I love on this picture because, yeah, you see the daddies there. And this illustration just shows you God has all these children now that he lives in and through. We're, say it with me. That's me. Yes. Hallelujah. That's me. God lives through me. God lives through you. Hallelujah. God does things through you that, oh, my gosh. God Almighty lives through you. Amen. You put groceries to you. You put groceries together. Why? Because God told you. Right? And you hear from the Lord and you can't do nothing but go, okay, Lord, what do I need to get? Amen. What do I need to get? Is that all? What, what else do you need me to do? Hallelujah. Say it with me, God is grace. God is grace. And so when, when a soul, look, you guys got the sneak peek right there. When this guy right here, I don't know him. But when he calls out to Lord Jesus Christ, look what happens. Boom. Right there. See, there's some of you here today. I don't know where you're at with the Lord. Maybe you don't know Lord Jesus Christ. Maybe you haven't got to that point yet. I pray that today is the day. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray today is the day. But everyone, it don't matter what the color of your skin is. It doesn't matter what your bank account look like. It doesn't matter how many sins you committed. It doesn't matter what you're struggling with. It doesn't matter how you act. It doesn't matter what scriptures you know. It doesn't matter. You say Jesus Christ is Lord and God promises. I will seal you with my spirit. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. So God is mercy. I am grace. What you see here on the screen beautifully shows the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. The life of Lord Jesus Christ. See, many people just take Lord Jesus Christ's life in the 33 years that he lived here. Please, please, hear my heart when I say this. I know I'll get a lot of texts and phone calls afterwards, but we can discuss this later. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ's life wasn't just when he showed up here. Lord Jesus' life was from the very beginning. Can I get an amen? amen. Say it with me, agape. agape. Who is agape? Father, Son, Can you separate agape? Who is our body? We have a soul, a spirit, and we live in this body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. If you took away my soul, what would happen? My next breath will be with God. Amen. But see, the beauty is how God created us. He made it so simple for us to realize, Lord Jesus, you are the only way. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Holy Spirit, you are God's peace. Amen? Amen. So we hurt God, we beat him and bruised him. But all because of Lord Jesus Christ. All because of the mercy of God for sending the great I am. We are saved by his grace. Can you get a hallelujah? God is mercy. God is I am. God is grace. Amen. And this is what we like to say. God is salvation. Hallelujah. It's his salvation. Amen. Are you saved? Are you saved? Is your salvation based on how you feel? Is your salvation based on how many people come to church? Is your salvation based on the, the, the worship music? No. Is your salvation based on the preaching? No. Is your salvation based on what you like or dislike? No. Is your salvation based on how good you are? No. Ooh, that's a good one. Hallelujah. Uh, I know many of you felt the fire in that, huh? Amen. Is your salvation based on who he is? Amen. 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 So say his name, I am. Amen. Hallelujah. So we promise we're going to break the code, right? We're breaking the code, amen? So what's this code? This code is, y'all ready? Christ overcomes distractions every time. Every time. Hey, say it with me, every time. That's more than every time now. That's eternal. Amen? I, I originally had eternal, but Holy Spirit's so awesome, merciful, and so much fun. He said, no type every time. But it gets gooder and gooder. Christ overcomes disease every time. Oh, wait, wait. Because we are Holy Spirit's church, it gets gooder and gooder. You ready for this? And guess what, beloved Daniel, beloved Kathy's just going to be jumping up and down in heaven. Check this one out, okay? Are you paying attention, son? Amen. Check this next slide out. Christ overcomes death every time. Hallelujah. Every time. We all have loved ones that went on to be with the Lord. Guess what? They don't look the same. They don't smell the same. As a matter of fact, when God shows you, hallelujah, because there's many of you that have seen, you will be like, oh my goodness. The glory of God is shining through you. Hallelujah. And that beloved is saying, you wait because he's coming soon. He's coming soon to get you. Amen. Now, there are many of you right now that's expecting for worship music to kick on after this slide. But Holy Spirit said, we're not done yet, Sister Tish. Amen. We're not done yet. It just gets gooder and gooder. Amen. Amen. So everything that we saw, we're still breaking this code. Amen. Christ overcomes death every time. Hallelujah. God, praise Jesus. Man, I missed you. So this is what we're going to get into. Praise God. We discussed it. God is salvation. God is mercy. God is I am. God is grace. And I love when you code break. I have a little padlock at home. And I have to put three numbers to unlock it. Three set numbers. Amen. So all together now, let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Amen. So let's put that up there. Praise God. Let's count again. One, two, three. Amen. Let's put that up there. See, that's extra credit. I see how you work. Praise God. Extra credit. Gold star for Brother David. I love you so much. Man, I miss you. Family, I pray you know I miss seeing your face. This is beyond us. Can I get an amen? And let's, let's fight to keep what the Holy Spirit's doing. Because the devil wants to hurt this. The devil is trying to take this apart. Will we in Jesus? Hallelujah. Come on now, beloved. No more. Amen. Will we fight? Amen. If you choose to fight for Holy Spirit, can you stand up for a moment? Can you stand up for a moment for God? Listen, I know. I know. Even if you don't stand up, I know your heart. I know that you choose to fight. But God's asking this of you. Because the moment you stood off that chair, what you don't know is that all the angels surrounding you that protect you and minister to you are standing wing to wing and going, they made a declaration for you, Lord Jesus. And this is your house. 
and we will not allow the plots of the enemy to manifest against them. Amen? The angels of God have been assigned in Jesus' name to go out and destroy the plots of the enemy. The assignments of darkness have been rebuked in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen? It's all through his blood. Hallelujah. Oh, let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Amen? And that's five right there. Praise God. You know what I love about this is that salvation, 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 say it with me, salvation. You're talking agape now, right? Salvation in Hebrew is this word right here. And Yesha Yahu in Hebrew means Isaiah. Amen? Are you all ready for this? Say amen. amen. Let's read together. Praise God. Let's read together. But he was. One more time. But he was. Wounded for our transgressions. He was. Bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And say this with me. And by his stripes we are healed. You see, beloved church family, as code breakers, in everything that we worshiped in God with right now, in everything that I wanted to tell you, God brought me to the scripture. The mercy of God is, is that he was wounded for all the sins of not wanting to have anything to do with him. We serve a merciful father, and he doesn't change. Today, today could be the fresh beginning, the fresh start, a fresh anointing over your life, over your heart, your mind, the body of Lord Jesus Christ, in which who you are and I am. This could be the new day, a new season. Because you know the Father is being merciful. He's not mad at you, family. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement, the punishment, the discipline for our peace was on Lord Jesus. And you see the great I am in what he carried. But by his stripes. You know what I love about stripes? I got a stripe right here. Well, I got many scars, but I got a big one right here. I got a big stripe right here. But you know the only way that this could be a stripe is it has to be healed. Right? And isn't it beautiful how God lays it out here in just this one scripture for you. I pray that you burn this Isaiah 53.5. This was prophesied by one of the major prophets. Amen? By one of the major prophets. There's five major prophets. Amen? Jeremiah, Isaiah, Lamentations, uh, Ezekiel, and Daniel. Hey, Daniel. And in his book, seven years, 700 years before Christ come, read it. In his book, he prophesied Lord Jesus Christ. But I love it because in one verse, he prophesied Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Can you hear an amen? amen? You see, all of us, all of us are born into this sinful world. There's many of us that say, well, so-and-so wasn't healed, and they died and went away. You're talking about a different kind of healing now. Come on now. When God says that by his stripes you are healed, beloved, it means that no matter what happens, your eternal identity is I am a beloved child of God. Amen. I am eternally yours, Father. Hallelujah. So what do we do in this vapor of a life that we know that we're in? We hold fast to the promise of our Lord Jesus. We have many more family, friends that are struggling right now. Listen, COVID has a name. His name is Satan. Cancer has a name. His name is Satan. Depression has a name. His name is Satan. Anxiety has a name. His name is Satan. Worry has a name. 
His name is Satan. But God has a name. Amen. I plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say it with me. Great I am. So last but not least, praise God, Father God, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit. This is how the Father wanted to, wanted to end this service. And Pastor, I'm going to ask you to make your way up here, please, before we get into breaking the code and unlocking the breakthrough. Here is the breakthrough, and this is what Father God wants to hear. If you have Jesus Christ as Lord, Father God wants to hear you voice this into the atmosphere. And this is unlocking breakthrough in your life. Say this with me, mercy, I am grace. This means in every walk, every footstep of your beloved life, in how God divinely orchestrates your step, God wants you to show mercy. God doesn't want you to show judgment. He wants you to show, show mercy. And when you show mercy, regardless how hard it is, listen, this person could cuss you, spit on you, slap you, this person could be talking behind your back, saying all kinds of lies about you. But guess what? It doesn't matter. Amen. Amen? It doesn't matter. Because you know why? We know Father God and He is mercy. And as we bless this soul with mercy, we are reminded of I am. And we are reminded of I am. Say it with me, I am. I am. And when you show this mercy, you are reminded of your identity that I must crucify this flesh and allow the grace of God to flow. And He is Holy Spirit. I'm going to say something right now that's going to hurt you, and it's not fair to Pastor because I'm going to turn it over to him. But we need it because God said so, Pastor. Amen? Holy Spirit is not emotion. Holy Spirit is a person. Amen? Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Give Pastor the mic. Awesome message. First of all, through his stripes, I am healed. I am healed. <clears throat> you know, as I, as I sat back there and listened to Pastor preach, as he was down, and I was down, I was praying for him, and I know he was praying for me. I know how many people was praying for me. It was so enormous of the, the ways it was going through my mind, Pastor, people praying. I mean, I just felt it. And I knew then that God, you're always in control. Amen. We sometimes want to give up, Pastor. Sometimes we want to say why or something. But I, I tell you this. Through all this, I, I never questioned God why I went through what I did. I never questioned him. Because you know what I seen this morning? I seen a pastor more on fire this morning than he ever has been since his church has been open. I tell you what else I've seen. I have seen elders step up to be pastors all through all of this. I have seen deacons step up and be deacons. I have seen congregation step up and say, we're not stopping this church. Satan has no authority over Open Arms Church. I seen that. I was laying in a bed and I knew that Open Arms Church would never shut their doors. I knew. I know, listen, there's not a one of us in here has not been through something in the last few weeks. Whether it's been concerned about somebody else, whether it's lost a loved one, whether somebody just been in so sick and so much pain. But let me say this. What I went through, God was with me through every bit of it. Every bit of it. And all it did was make me stronger to Him. All it did was make me closer to Him. Listen, I didn't think I'd ever get in closer to God. But sometimes God allows things in our life to draw us closer to Him. And we need to thank Him through the bad times. We need to thank Him through the good times. We need to thank Him all the time. Amen. I can't wait to get back on fire and preaching again, Pastor. I can't wait because I know God, it might be slow. I don't know what God's got in store for me, but I do know this. Until he takes me home, I'm going to be up here preaching his word. I'm going to be up here preaching his word.
and I give it all to him. Hey, listen, just like Pastor said, it's not about me. Don't ever think it's about me. It's about my Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll go to my last breath telling people that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And only through him, only through him can I preach his word. Only through him can I do what I do. It's not about me. It's not about joy. It's about Lord Jesus Christ. Guys, I love you so much. I thank you for the prayers. I thank you for the leadership in this church, what you all have done. And I love you all with the bottom of my heart. And I, will all, I, I know you do. I appreciate that, Brother David. But I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep trusting. And I'm going to keep living until Jesus takes that out. Amen. Love you all. God is good all the time. God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. It just gets gooder and gooder. Amen. So I'm going to ask the leadership to come up. Those of you who feel led. Amen. There's some of you that just want to stay back. Please be obedient. Stay back. It doesn't matter where you're at. That's the bottom line. As our leadership comes and, and just prays, in their worship, I'm going to ask them, Ask Holy Spirit for a fresh anointing over you. I'm speaking that over all of us. Amen. But the Word of God says that if you need something, come to an elder. They will anoint you. And God will answer your prayers. Amen. Let's all stand up on our feet. Praise God. Can somebody get the lights for me? Thank you so much. I want to say a prayer over you as the leadership prepares themselves at the altar. The Holy Spirit has done mighty things these past few weeks through all of us. Pastors already said it. It doesn't matter if he's building a million dollar house or if he's on the bed in pain, in the worst pain of his life. Father, you never leave me or forsake me and I'll worship you. Glory to God, amen, that we have a pastor like that. Amen. Glory to God that we all share that. But as you heard that, there are some of you right now that if you're true to God Almighty, if you're true to yourself, there's some of you here, God's already shown it to me, that you're not there yet. And guess what? That's okay. It's okay. But what Father is asking of you is will you either come to the altar or kneel where you're at because, see, supplication takes place when we humble ourselves to the point where you break down. Say it with me, break down. And God says, come to him with supplication, meaning, will you humble yourself? Will you break down? Will you get on your knees and pray? I'm asking you that, church. And if God leads you to this altar, listen, it's one thing when you pray and leave everything at the altar. But listen, you have leaders here that want to anoint you and pray for you. Will you ask them to pray over you? Will you ask them for a fresh fire from heaven? I pray you do in Jesus' name. Beloved family, let's all pray together. Amen. Heavenly Father, we plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, and we thank you for eternity, Heavenly Father. We love you, Father God, first and foremost with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, Father God. And it's through your anointing Holy Spirit, agape, that your presence, Father God, gives us the ability, power to love one another as you want. Father, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I command every angel, Father God, to watch over your beloved children. And Heavenly Father, I thank you that through the anointing of Holy Spirit, that Holy Spirit, your presence, for you are the light of God, that your presence would shine through every soul, every marriage, every family, and their children, Father God, like never before on this glorious day that you have made through Christ our Lord. And Father, and I thank you that as your light goes before all of us, that your light, Holy Spirit, destroys the plots of the evil one. And I thank you, Father God, 
for the life-changing revelation that all these things that you have done, it's all in the past because now we stand and breathe healed, saved, delivered, redeemed, sanctified, forgiven, blessed, beloved. I am a child of God, and it's in Jesus' name and all God's beloved said, Amen. Amen.